The average residential monthly bill represents 1,000 kilowatt hours of electricity, but VEPCO officials say they plan to cut such bills by $2.57 when the North Anna 2 power plant begins full operation in September. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission yesterday approved a license allowing the utility to operate North Anna 2 at full power, the first such license since the Three Mile Island accident in Pennsylvania last year. With VEPCO's other nuclear units, North Anna 1 and Surrey 1 and 2 online, the utility says it's now in a better position to supply power to the Old Dominion. During the peak loads of the summer, we were purchasing power from our neighboring utilities. Now it's going to give us the option of either buying uh, less, uh, probably we'll be selling to them uh, in the coming months. It increases our capability uh, considerably. Also, uh, should OPEC increase their prices or should we experience shortages in coal or oil, it gives us the flexibility, uh, gives us more options on how we're going to generate our power. When North Anna 2 is fully operational, VEPCO will be able to cut its use of oil. Officials say the plant would have cut the utility's fuel cost by nearly $300,000 had it been online during the recent hot spell. Ava Hurdle, Area 10 Eyewitness News.